Okay, so here's the after of doing hydro tilling on this property. I don't know if you, it's raining pretty bad out right now. So. Clean the driveway. Got the roof all clean up above. Got the weeds out of all this rockery. Roof looks awesome. I wasn't sure. Is this 40 year old roof? It was treacherous not to destroy it. Kind of cleaned up the fence a little bit. I had to put a trench, run some of this water out of here. It's been just pouring today. Like Washingtonian weather. So anyway, this kit looks good, see? Compared to what it was. And the roof's all clean up there. I think those are the only leaves left after the whole ordeal. Wash this wall, it was pretty bad. I know it don't look like it's been washed, but it was green before. This is all weeds. This is all moss all over it. So when you do it, get into a situation like this, what you do is you just put artificial grass over top of it. That's how you fix the concrete. Just glue it down. Pour, pour some uh, concrete in these cracks right here and there. Just glob it in there. Who cares if it sticks or not really to speak of. And you just put artificial grass over it. Anyway, this turned out really good. This was one big blanket of weeds. Wash the walls. It was hard. Paint's coming off of it. And that's what you get when you hire me. Do hydro tilling. All with an oscillating pressure washer tip. This one was done with this brand new DeWalt 4400 PSI pressure washer. And I got my tip from Still. But Still has a better tip than any any other company. Let's see, it's a good tip. About a hundred bucks for the tip. Has a nice wide spread. 200 feet of hose. You handle just about any property. Well, have a great day. See ya.